hi everyone in this video we will see how to reset a fault light now this fault light is flashing actually i bought this plc it's a used plc and it was removed from a working environment uh, when i bought this plc that guy did not let me test he said if uh, if it's uh, working or not working i don't know so I just took a chance and I bought because it was cheap so I, uh, I thought okay let's try now when I powered up there was a fault light blinking and I don't had the proper uh, cable to connect to this Micrologics 1200 so then I but I had this um, Adam 4561 RS2322 uh, USB converter so you can see you can use for this rs232 422 and 485 uh, and there is a power cable it's a live and the neutral is a 220 this plc has a his own internal power supply and uh, i just connect three wire it's a transmit receive and the ground three wires are connected here for for this diagram uh, i'll put this diagram also in description so let's start i open rs link go to communication and configure the driver in the driver i will choose rs232 add a new device you can just give it any name I will leave the name default press ok and here you have to choose the COM port go to device manager and uh, this is this converter right click property port setting and there is a 19200 8-bit and stop it one I will just do the same configuration here put the port number 8 and 92 stop it one and press the auto config now you can see it find the plc immediately so now once uh, the driver is configured we can just close this one and now the time to open a rs logic 500 now here uh, we choose the go to online uh, if we go to online it immediately detect the fault is a faulted uh, we can just risk we can just clear the fault but then we will not know what was the problem so we will not clear the fault we will go to the error if we go to the error you will see here it says major error and in the description it's a io configuration mismatch so it means oh it was configured with some ios and then someone removed the ios and i got only the plc and therefore it uh, is not matching with the io and uh, the fault led is flashing so how to reset that one is i can just put a zero here uh, now what you can do i can go and clear the fault but now if we clear the fault and i upload again the same project it will give the same error again let's go to configuration io configuration you see there is a there was a one expansion model install with this so that is no more so what we will do we will upload a new project i have already one test uh, to upload this one it's just a very simple uh, now if we go to online uh, No, that's the wrong because I should not go to online uh, test. Open the test. 
before I go to online I must first download it that is the thing apply do you want to go to online yes so now is the new project is up no downloaded to the PLC and I can run it and it's working perfectly fine thank you very much for watching this video